Hi friends, it's Kelly and welcome to my channel and happy Saturday morning makes. This is what I've been working on for the open collaboration and it's hosted by Jillian Norwood here on YouTube and she's so sweet and so kind. I'll link her channel below so you can check her out. She's amazingly talented and she invites us to share what we've been creating for the Saturday morning or maybe you made it earlier during the week. For me, I absolutely love to use up my little scraps and little pieces of papers and try to turn them into something else. And you might remember if you follow me on Instagram, I made a couple of little ATC shakers. This was actually from the last Saturday morning makes and I didn't get a chance to film it, but these are super cute. I made these using my favorite things stamp set and some shaker mix and just put these together to put in a little ATC. So this turned out to be a lot of fun. Then I saw all the little bits and scraps of paper and I thought, wouldn't it be fun to turn these into something else as well? <laughs> I did use the cardstock from scrapbook.com, the Christmas one, and the peppermint smooth cardstock. And these are a lot of fun. They're just, you know, great to have on hand for smaller projects. And I also used the doodle bug paper that I just received earlier this week. What inspired this actually is I was flipping through here and I saw this one particular page and I thought this would be so adorable as a twinchy. These are so cute. I absolutely fell in love with all of these little adorable doodle bug designs. And I thought this is small enough where I could actually turn this into a frame. So I looked through my stash, I found my My Favorite Things frame and it was a perfect fit. I thought that was so sweet. I think this is meant to be an advent calendar because I do see it has some numbers on it. And for what I needed it, it wouldn't have worked. So I just took a circle die, which is uh, similar to this little stitch circle die and created like a little a snowbank, if you will. <laughs> and then I just covered up the little numbers by using the little snowbank. So cute. So it looks like this one, it's done. And as you can see here, you can see the little number poking out. So I decided to be creative and put like the little circle and make some snow. This was so much fun. I decided to turn them into little shakers. So I used the shaker mix from Paper Rose again. I love this company and this is the snowflake one. It has little pearls, little blue and white snowflakes and uh, put the acetate and then just put some down inside. Well, there's the back. I just put some down inside and um, there's little mini shaker boxes. These are too, 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 too cute. This one here is little Santa in his truck. This one here is Santa Claus. He's, I think, ice skating. <laughs> and then this one is the snowman or snow girl. This one here is another snow person. He's a snowman. He has a top hat. And then this sweet little polar bear. So these were a lot of fun. These are almost like little twinchies, but they're little shadow box twinchies. And then you can leave them as is, pop them onto the front of a package, or maybe be really fun, like I was planning to do, is just put them in my little mailbox here and just have some outgoing mail, so that would be cute. Or you can put them, let me just grab this really quickly as a sample. This is a card that I worked on earlier too, a little Christmas card using the Doodlebug and Colorado Craft Company. But this is another idea that I had. You could just pop these on the front of a card and really have a super fun embellished card. So it'd be like that, really full of dimension, a lot of fun, that would be cute. A little sentiment here, maybe like that across in the middle. So many possibilities, but I just thought this was a lot of fun because I literally had these tiny little pieces of paper and I wanted to turn this into something. So this became this. And it also became this. <laughs> I had a snowflake die set and it is also from my favorite things. And I decided to just cut out a bunch of the little snowflakes. I thought you can't go wrong. Use these snowflakes anywhere, somewhere, especially during the holiday card making time. And um, this is what I thought after I had all of these cut out, I said, you know, I'm going to make some card candy. There's got to be a way to use this 
as well as these and there was i decided to keep putting some more of the paper and pop it up on the back of the frame so same thing i just put some foam just like this all around the outside of it and just put it right on top of the designer paper so very much like that and I just turned this into some cute little card candy. So this, of course, you can leave it as is. You can have this on a card as well. And that's what my plan for this afternoon is, <laughs> to put these on a little card. Let me move these out of the way just briefly. So those are there. The little snowflake pieces can go up here. And then these are the five that I made for the little card candies. I made a little pink one. This one has almost like a teal color to it. And if you look really closely, you can see the sweet little doodle bug characters. Love that. Here's the peppermint stripes. This is the little snow village. And then these are just the little snowflakes. Same thing, I thought this would be really sweet to put on some cards, maybe even pop them up, something like that, a little sentiment. These were just little scraps of paper and I actually turned them into something else because I didn't want to waste them. <laughs> Here's another blue one, another blue one. Here's a pink one. So this was a lot of fun. So my Saturday morning makes was taking something and creating something and just absolutely had so much fun. It took about an hour. I think the hardest part was getting this acetate to behave <laughs> and put all of these together. So that is what I have been working on. A little, little cards and little ATCs and little card candy. And I just, I had so much fun with this. Really, it's the colors. They're so bright and cheerful. And it's just so whimsical. I love this paper pack. I love these sweet little critters. And these little faces are so funny. Santa doing his peace out. This little snowman sticking out his tongue. And this little sweet polar bear bringing gifts. And of course, these creative little elves. We're doing the elf on the shelf with my three-year-old granddaughter. And she's been having an absolute blast with it. So it has been a lot of fun. That is what I worked on today. This is my Saturday morning share with all of these little different bits and pieces using some sweet paper, using some adorable cardstock, a couple of dies, some shaker mix, and there you go. <laughs> I hope this inspired you in some kind of way. I hope this brought you um, some creative ideas as well. And again, you know, if you see some little pieces of paper that you have left over, you might be able to turn it into something else. That is my share for this Saturday. Thanks so much for watching, my friends. Please remember to like this video. If you like my content, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you on my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.